Hello and welcome to What's in My Box Episode 1. This is the first in a series of videos I'm going to do going through my boxes of mini discs and cassettes and other bits and bobs I've bought over the last few years since starting my mini disc hobby. It's very late on Saturday night, it's uh, 10 past 10 in the evening. I've just finished watching the England versus Ukraine football match. There'll be a spoiler later on, so watch out for that if you don't want to hear the result. And uh, I guess I'll be up till about 2 o'clock in the morning editing this video to get it up by Sunday. So first, uh, first box I'm starting with is the most important box I've got, which is the one that sits right near me in the office and is the top of the pile. And it's the most used uh, mini discs and players. So I love these boxes. Um, these are perfect size, as you can see, the mini disc rattling, the players rattling around inside. It's the perfect size for storing the mini discs and stuff. So there'll be links to the boxes and the dividers uh, in the description box below. And this one is exclusively mini disc. Some of the others aren't. So make sure you're subscribed, uh, click the notification icon, and then you'll get a notification each time I upload a video. So let's have a look then. So it's hard to get a good camera angle when it's quite a big box, but this is the view I see when I turn around in my office. That's what I see. And it's uh, split up into uh, four compartments, four rows. So on the left-hand side, we've got that. If it's upside down, that means that it's out and in a mini disc player, just to keep track. That's one of the ones that I bought that featured in last week's video, uh, level 42, 12 inch uh, remix collection. Really good, uh, really good mini disc that. Um, um, this is the demo disc that I burned uh, in one of the other uh, videos. Um, I burned that from the uh, YouTube uh, music library uh, for creators, and therefore it has no um, copyright on it. But I haven't actually had a chance to use that in a video where I've actually played any of the music. But I do have uh, a video, a few videos playing later on that I will be using that. So moving on to these other discs. Um, these are most of these discs in this row, in this first part of this row, are discs that I bought which had music on already, and I like the music enough to keep the um, to keep the discs. Um, you see, I make some notes on there. So, and I've labelled some of these up. I don't like labels on the discs themselves. That's quite a good mini disc as well. I like these ones. I'm a bit fussy with my music. I don't uh, like a lot of tracks on an album, for example. But uh, but if I pick, if I get an album and I don't like some of the tracks, I can just remove those tracks or move them to the end of the disc. So you can see these have got labels on, and some of them are labelled up with the track listings on the back. I don't take those labels off if I'm keeping the music on that's on the disc generally, unless it's awful. So there's a disc. I think probably one I've. Uh, uh, erased and then added um, music to myself. Some of these might be ones that I bought used and um, they were blank um, but they're not new ones. So originally this was the one, this was the row for used mini discs and these were the rows for ones which I bought new and put music on myself. Now what I do like is Beck. I, I wasn't really into Beck since that one's got used on it. I wasn't into Beck so buying um, use mini discs with tracks or albums which are already on there could be seen as a breach of copyright or it could be seen as unfair to the artist but this Beck one for example I like that I've really got into Beck and I've listened to a lot of their stuff on streaming music and I know the artists don't earn as much from streaming music as they do from albums but I'd be very you know some of these I've gone out and bought CDs for for some of these artists I've already done that Let's see how it is. Losing track of what I've done here. Oh yeah, so that's one I already own the CD for. So I've burned that on a used disc. So these are all used. Primarily, these ones at the front are used. That's my absolute favourites. Ab Fab, as I call it. From 2019. Um, so it's a track, uh, like a mixtape or a mixed disc I did. Oh yeah, Jamiroquai. One of my, probably my favourite artist ever. And that's one I bought with music already on it. There's some tracks from it there. That's quite a nice one to listen to. Don't like all the tracks, but again, I can move those to the end, those ones I don't like. 
<laughs> mentioned this orange, um, these orange Maxell XL 274s in the last video. Um, oh, it's a CD I've just burned to that. So that I remember doing a video when I got that disc, I think. Oh yeah, Eurythmics, always a big fan. I'm a big fan of the 80s stuff, it's kind of my era. Um, I've got some Eurythmics CDs already, that's good. Now these ones I think at the back, yeah again look, Rolling Stones. Now I'm not a big Rolling Stones fan, but this one has made it into my list of, uh, or my pile of videos that I, videos, what am I saying? It's made it into the list of pile of mini discs that I listen to quite frequently. Um, that I think I've got the CD for. Oh, and I've had to label that was LP2, so that's long play, because I've got a lot of players that don't play long play, they only play standard play discs. Uh, so what's on this one then? Well, it's crossed out George Michael, ladies and gentlemen. It's Happy Pop. So that's a, a playlist I did, which has just got some poppy songs, you know, uh, which are a bit upbeat. Uh, this is a, a new one I bought quite early on, and I think I did a video for this. If I didn't, watch Techmoan's one, because he's got it. So this is in the... what's his name? Anders Ender Jensen, Retro Grooves 3, and it's an, it's um, this is a Sony disc, um, which is recordable, and it's been, um, I think it's UV printed with the um, artwork on it, and I just wanted to buy a new, like a, uh, uh, a newly produced mini disc. It gets a bit confusing which way up it goes, because the label's on sideways as well. So where do I get to? That's it for that pile, so let's go back. This is just a case I picked up at some point, it houses two um, unboxed mini discs, that's just in there in case I need to, if I'm like going out somewhere and I just want to take a couple of spare mini discs, I can pop it in that case, grab a player, and then I'm off. And uh, these, there should be another Sony one in here somewhere, I know where it is. So these are the Sony ones, let me grab that. These are the um, Sony ones where I did a video where I looked at the two different types of uh, Sony premium discs. That I believe is that one, and that is, I believe is that one. I unwrapped them and had a look at them. Uh, I prefer that one, but I just kept the originals with it. And that is one of my favorite ones. That's a Latin mix uh, disc I did. That's really great for sitting in the garden and uh, just relaxing in the evening. So I'll keep that in my rack. Um, that's another video uh, I did um, look at my rack, so you might want to look at that. Um, it's like, got, I think it's 20, 20 discs fit in that one. And what's on that one? Uh, Men at Work Radio. So this was a playlist that uh, Men at Work is an 80s group from Australia. And I like a couple of their tracks. And I played it on what was um, Google Play Music back in the day. Um, which is now YouTube music and you used to have a button where you can press it and it would say okay it's this artist or this track radio so it's very similar they would select some tracks which for which were similar to the one uh, that I was listening to and I liked it a lot and uh, popped it on this one don't listen to that very often but I think I'm gonna have to give that another listen and the ones in the back here I think are just the labels from those Sony yeah they're the they're the uh, index cards for those Sony ones and one there for W. H. Smith. Don't know why that's in there. I'm going to leave that out. This is another good reason for me doing this, is I can have a bit of a sort out and make sure everything's where it should be. Okay, if you're still watching, let's move on to some of these. Again, Catatonia. I, I got that um, used mini disc with Catatonia on it, and I listen to a lot of their tracks uh, streaming as well on my phone when I'm out and about. Uh, I've got this. One of my I bought a Message in a Box. CDs way back, you know, 30, 30 years ago. Uh, I think it was um, four or six CDs from the police with all of their all of the music on it. Uh, I was quite a fan of the police and Sting. You might find some Sting stuff. So this is chilled music. You know, nice, nice enough disc, but I'm not really that a big fan of Sony discs. So if you're bored and you want to stick, uh, skip forwards, there'll be um, markers. If you look in the description, there's a little chapter markers and you can click on those and it'll go straight to that point in the disc. 
uh, sorry, straight to that point in the video. Um, have I got a CD? I must have a CD for them as well. Hue and Cry. Recently found them again. I uh, forgot about them <laughs> from the 80s. Okay, so let's pop that out there. So sometimes I'll buy the. Oh, this is a BASF one. There was one of these in a similar one to this in the last, not the last video, the one before last, where I had the haul unboxing, the mini disc haul unboxing. Really, I really like these discs, sort of plain, and they look very um, understated. But I think it's the wrong case. And I'll leave notes on it. Uh, this disc and case is different to the other used BASF ones. Keep this one. This one made in Japan and the others are made in the EC. So that's information I picked up from somewhere. Just left it on there as a reminder. Uh, ah, right. Ibiza 2000 Disc 2. This is what I got from that charity shop about half an hour away about two years ago. And when I went back um, a few weeks ago, I picked up Disc 1 and I still had it in the back room. Um, and I just, I just cleared them out of discs. They obviously weren't going to sell them because they're in the back room, so they weren't going to sell them. So I just said, all right, I'll have the lot. I don't know why that one's upside down. I should know better. A prodigy, yeah. Um, and George Michael Older. Now I did buy, that's one of the other only, I don't know where that is. I've bought another uh, factory pressed mini disc used, obviously, and it was one, it was Happy Feet, uh, I think, from George Michael. That will be in the other boxes somewhere as well. There we go. Again, this um, this again was that from that charity shop, and I bought a replace uh, the um, the remaining um, now album from them the other day. Uh, I think this again that was from the same charity shop. So basically, these ones are the ones I don't play very often. But they are the used ones that I want to keep. There we go, now 46. That was the one I was looking for. So I've got 46. I think I've got 48 from a couple of weeks ago. And 50. Um, and here what I've done is I've labelled up. So they're the cards for some of these discs. And I've labelled them up just so I know what discs they... So I've put them in little plastic bags. Put them in there, keep them nice and neat. And I know which, uh, which mini discs they come from. So these ones are ones that I bought new and then put music on. And what I've done is I've kept them with an exact copy, probably from the same pack. So these are Sharp 80s. Uh, again, Jamiroquai again, Return of the Space Cowboy. Uh, he's still putting out music. It's not quite as good. Not that he's ever gonna watch, but I hope he doesn't. Not quite as good, it hasn't quite got the same energy, but he's a bit older now, and so am I. So what do we put on now? Oh, more Human Cry. And obviously nothing on that one. So that sharp one is for that there. And now we get on to the first of the mini disc players, or in this case a recorder, that I keep in here. So all of these players get used regularly and I keep them in here to keep them um, dust free. Very nice N707 there. Very handy for just putting the battery in. And I found, I'm not going to give it all away, but when I do my video on power, uh, it's going to be talking about the gumstick batteries and AA batteries. And uh, what I've found is mini disc players will still play quite happily for hours on batteries that other devices um, give you a battery flat warning or a low battery warning for. So I've got a little system uh, and I use a multimeter to see how much power is in each. And then I can get almost free mini disc playing. Um, from batteries that otherwise I'd have just um, taken down to recycling. Let's put that back in there. Okay, moving on. So this is a, a playlist I put on. This is some um, rap and hip hop from the 80s. In fact, I've got that as well on uh, on a cassette, which I play in this occasion, this monster here, which is my one of my desk clocks at the moment. Really like that. Did a video about that before as well. Ooh, I haven't listened to this for a while, so I'm gonna to to, have to revisit some of these discs. But as you can see, there's there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of hours of playlists here. Yeah, that wasn't sure whether it's 80s or 90s. Yeah, both by the looks of it. Oops.
that's a George Michael again a lot of his slow stuff is not slow music is not my thing but uh, I can always skip those tracks I don't know already I lost my place here <laughs> oh I'm gonna get this out and give this a listen as well um, that's Tom's Diner um, this is sunny summer music it's a compilation I made of Tom's Diner and just basically happy stuff a bit retro I quite like that sort of stuff I'm gonna leave that out because I quite like that one it's sunny as well today that was nice uh, I've got a re-record track 11 on this again another playlist I've made Freak Power Radio so Freak Power is one of the tracks and it's uh, a radio a compilation from Google Play Music uh, of course I own all of these tracks myself <clears throat> <laughs> right, yeah, this one. Uh, this one is uh, Rio, and I, I made, uh, I think I probably either got that artwork from the internet or I've got it on a, uh, uh, a CD and I just copied it and stuck it in there. I really can't be bothered doing all of that, it takes too much time. I'd rather just use my label maker. Uh, so, Work Shield. I don't play half of these. I tend to play on, when I'm working in the office, which is this is my office, I, it's much easier for me to. Um, just play a playlist on YouTube Music uh, because I've got a uh, volume and uh, start, start, stop, and forward skip and back skip buttons on my keyboard. So if somebody phones up, you just press a button on the keyboard, which I'm on anyway, and uh, uh, and then just uh, pause the music while I'm having a chat with someone. Let's send one order. <laughs> All right, Imogen's my daughter, and we've made a playlist. We can't play a mini disc player in the car because I'm not equipped for that. Um, but there's a when we go to South End, which is quite local, South End on Sea. There's a, a set of tracks that both she and I like. Again, this is this is a um, uh, a playlist I made. Uh, I got into 70s, late 70s, and early 80s TV and films, and Bullet is a brilliant film. And it reminds me of my uh, favourite ever car, which is a Ford Puma that I owned, for 20, owned from you for 20 years. Uh, so this one, I actually bought the complete Starsky and Hutch video collection on DVD to watch and also to get the theme tune, the original theme tune, because that's really hard to get. Um, you can't buy it separately and you can't download it online for probably... Um, uh, copyright reasons so I actually bought the uh, DVDs and then uh, captured the uh, captured the theme tune and it's got that and bullet and a few other similar um, TV and film tracks on it oh it's what's it called Call on the Gang reminds me of my first job when we had that playing in a, uh, a cassette player throughout the store so it's a uh, um, MZR70 this is the one that was they're typically really noisy when you're playing them, I don't. I don't think there's a battery in this one. No, there's not. Oh, there is. So it's holding it up to the mic. And they're quite. They're quite noisy um, when they play, but uh, it's good. I've got a remote for it. Oh, there it is. So I keep the remotes in there as well. So that goes in my pocket again. Double A battery, nice and simple. Um, sometimes I'll put a rechargeable one in. For example, this one. That I've got the cradle for that somewhere, and when I was using rechargeable double A's in that, I'd listen to it and then just pop it on the cradle and it would recharge until I needed it next. But yeah, all these, uh, anything I've made myself, they've all got the um, track titles on them. But it's quite noisy, noisy player, but it's alright if it's in your pocket, you can't hear it. So that's the sort of one I'll, I'll stick in my pocket and uh, play while I'm doing stuff around the house. Likewise, this one, I featured a video on this where I fixed a problem with the button presses, which was down to the ribbon, and it's done exactly the same again. Um, so I might have to um, repair that again. You have to take the ribbon out, clean the ribbon, which is inside, and then put it back. But there's no need, really, because I've got the remote control for it, standard remote control. So again, that's just grab it and play. What I have to do on this one though is I have to make sure that the discs I put in this are right protected because if I don't right protect them sometimes when I press a button on here it think it presses record or puts a track mark in it so this one has to be right protected. Here, look, right protect before you so any disc I put in there has to be right protected first otherwise I could end up splitting the tracks in multiple tracks. 
Okay, anyone still here? If you're still here, say here in the comments. So I keep my batteries here as well. That's an original Sony one. Let's get that a bit closer to the camera. Are we going to focus? There we go. And that is one that I bought. Uh, I probably bought that from eBay, but they're actually available on Amazon, and there'll be a link down in the description below. I'm not allowed to give prices. Um, part of the Amazon affiliates agreement is you don't quote prices. They're very sensitive about that sort of thing. But if you want some of these, they're very cheap, and they do last. Uh, you know, these I can't believe these still work after 20 or 30 years. But these are every bit as good as these are. But these are new and these are old. So I keep those in there. When they're charged, they go in there. When I do my um, power video, I'm going to talk about chargers as well. Because I found a useful um, alternative to the old plug-in chargers for these uh, that you used to get with the mini disc players back in the day. There's another one. Oh, I can't remember what's on that one. That one might be blank, actually. don't know why it's in there. Now these are um, mini discs that I've unwrapped and uh, then put tracks on. So that was a playlist that I just happened to find that I liked and I just couldn't think of a name for it so I called it Lucky Good. Lovely discs these, TVK ones. Abfab's uh, 20, so that's number one of the playlist and that'll be number two. And that is probably tracks one and two on LP2, so double you get double the amount of tracks on a disc. The quality is slightly worse, but it's almost indistinguishable. So that will be for my long play players. <laughs> There's another playlist. I couldn't think of what... Oops, sorry about the camera shake there. Um, I made the playlist, uh, burned it to disc, and I couldn't... Um, or actually, as I was preparing the playlist, I headed it as rename because I needed to think of a you know a smart name for it, and it took me so long and I couldn't think of a name. I just left it as the as the uh, playlist is named rename. And again, this is another weird playlist. I mistyped that when I typed in the playlist name. It should say electronica, but it's not. It's electronica, and I thought no, I'll leave that as that as well. Have a good disc. Ah, drain, drain. You can't get better than that, can you? Well, not much. Oh, Mikatone. Again, this is one I bought CDs for. Didn't really... When I was this... Did I find Mikatone on a, a, a mini disc? Or that's something I found as a result of listening to another playlist? I think that's probably where I've listened to something on uh, Google Play Music or YouTube music and found a particular track I liked and then uh, bought a CD for it. I think I've got their, one of the greatest hits CDs. That is a um, WH Smith's one. There's the inlay card back in there for that, so I don't know why that's been split out. But that is, that's the disc from that there. Uh, anything I've opened, which I'm showing you here, there'll be a link to that video down in the description as well. And they are very similar to those sharp ones. No, it's not those sharp ones. It's very similar to another one, which I can't remember. And I did a comparison video of those as well. What's this nice red one here? Oh, High Space. Why they considered to be the cheapest of discs and not very good quality, but so long as it writes to it and, and it doesn't degrade, which it shouldn't do, then every bit as good quality as the more expensive ones. Oh, no wonder it's red. It's my Christmas one of my Christmas playlists. So that's it for the mini discs, but what we've got here is a couple of the other players. Well, this the other ones so far have been recorders. This one's actually a player. I've got two of these beautiful looking things. And I'm very careful where I use them because they're so easy to get scratched. So that's just a player. I don't think that one's got a battery in it at the moment. No disc. And there's the uh, remote for that. And finally, the N710. Yes, N710. I've got two of these. That's number two. This one's got a slight crack where the battery adapt previous owner had a battery adapter and, and bent it while it was on there. Again, really, that, these run on the gunstick batteries. So they are a bit thinner than the ones that have a AA battery. So not quite as convenient. You've got to hope that you've got um, a, a charged battery. Um, but yeah, very nice players. These are excellent, excellent recorders as well. 
So that's it for What's In My Box episode one. There will be another uh, What's In My Box episode coming up shortly. Um, spoiler here for the football, England versus Ukraine game. I'm not a massive football fan, I used to be, but I hardly ever watch it now. But uh, I don't think Ukraine des deserved to lose 4-0. Uh, they played quite well for most of the game, but England definitely deserved to win 4-0. They played very well for most of the game, and almost every chance they got on goal, they put it away. So, come on England! And that's it. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.